Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. And so we've fallen into the realm of monsters. Welcome to Undertale. This is apparently kind of an RPG and kind of not. I'm not really sure. I've heard very strange things about it. And I've also heard that it's apparently best experienced knowing as little about it as possible. And that's exactly what I've done. I haven't read any reviews. I've only played it for a couple minutes. So I don't really know what to expect, other than I've heard from a lot of people that it's really good and really funny and really wacky and strange, and just always surprising. So I really don't know what to expect. If you'd like to check this game out for yourself, you'll find some more information in the description. Alright, so let's begin. I can continue with my save, or I can reset. And here's where the game's wackiness seems to uh, start already, is when you go to reset, it doesn't seem to allow you to reset your character name. If you notice on the top left it says, uh... And that's because when I made a character to actually test the game out for a couple minutes, I didn't really care what I put for the character name, so I just typed in, uh... But now I can't seem to get rid of it. Here's what happens when I go to reset. A name has already been chosen. And if you say no, it just goes back to the menu. So, I think I'm stuck with, uh, as my character name for the entire game. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes the adventures of, uh. So we've fallen down the mountain into the world of monsters. Thankfully, onto a very convenient patch of flowers. Cushy. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. <laughs> Why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Wait a minute. I don't think this is what I said before. Are you telling me the game recognizes that I've played it already even though I reset the game? Not only does it not allow you to reset your name, but even the characters aren't allowed to forget who you are? Oh my god. Okay, this is strange. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. I can move it around too. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. <laughs> Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Okay, this is literally as far as I played before. I just went up to the star and saved my game. Shadow of the Ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Alright, there we go. So everything from here on out is literally completely blind. Well, I mean, I guess not literally, because I'm not blind, but y you know what I mean. Also, this music is really good! I love it. Groovy. Can I climb these vines? Nah, dang. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. <laughs> between diversions and door keys. <sighs> one must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, uh... I think I've taken it all in. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. What if I press the other ones? <sighs> nah. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones. Both walk not the middle road. Aw, it didn't do anything. I wonder if this game has a lot of secrets. I like secrets. So this is a hint for something. Both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. And do not worry, I've labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. <laughs> you have to press Z on the sign first for it to tell you press Z to read signs. <laughs> Stay on the path. Nah. There we go. Please press this switch. Toriel. Really? You're giving me, giving me the choice between the switch you want me to press and another switch? What do you think I'm gonna do? Come on. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. No, I want to press this switch. Do I have to? Oh, I think I have to. <sighs> okay. Please press this switch too. Splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. The switch doesn't even work. <laughs> As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You'll need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Yeah, that's something I've heard about too, that this game allows you to actually get through the game without... Like, every fight, so-called fight you have, can actually re be resolved by talking. Alright, so let's talk to the dummy. Although I don't know... Uh, I don't understand how a dummy's gonna talk back. 
You encountered the dummy. Scary. I have no idea what that was. Dummy stands around absentmindedly. Okay, so fight, act, mercy. Uh, so how do I strike up a conversation? Is that act? On dummy. Oh yeah, can check or talk. Let's talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. Th thank, thanks. I proved I can say words at a dummy who is incapable of responding. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Hmm? Froggit? Where the hell did you come from? Check, threat, or compliment. Hmm, compliment. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. You won! <laughs> cool. Uh, okay, when Toriel said that there's a puzzle in this room, do they mean literally this room right here? Because I don't see anything. Do I need to follow the path? I don't know. Maybe it's over here. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Hmm? Oh. I see. This is the puzzle. But. Here. Take my hand for a moment. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Uh, forgive me for this. a never-ending hallway? Nope, it ends. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. <laughs> what? What was the point of that? However, there was an important reason for this exercise. Uh, uh, illuminate me. I am very in the dark. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Thanks. Uh, did they actually give me a cell phone? I can't seem to access items, so I assume that means I don't have any? Oh wait, cell. <laughs> it's just in the menu. Call her mom? Flirt? <laughs> what? I can flirt? Uh, how old am I? Aren't I really young? I'm gonna call her mom. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me... Mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me... Mother? 
well then, call me whatever you like. Aw, that was sweet. Is there anything behind that pillar? No, I can't even go behind the pillar myself. Wait a minute. Didn't you say to wait here? Ha! <laughs> I'm not gonna wait. Oh. Hello? This is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? Uh, no! There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Oh, I'm totally gonna solve them myself. Hey, Froggy. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> Which means, excuse me, human. I have, I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Froggit. Hopped close. You. You. Shall I compliment you again? Yeah. Didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Whoa. Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. I'm not sure what just happened. I just got to play as the heart for a second, and then... Yeah, I don't know what just happened. Seems reluctant to fight you. Okay, let's compliment again. Flattered anyway. Blushes deeply again. Okay. Am I supposed to just, like, avoid them? I guess. Seems reluctant to fight you. Well, it's reluctant to fight me, so... Mercy? Let's spare. You won. Zero XP and two gold. <gasps> cool. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Looks like you only get one save game, huh? Yeah, you only get one save game. Dang. Hmm, up or down? Another frogget. Compliment. Flattered anyway? Mm hmm. Haha, <laughs> can't get me. Mercy. Two more gold. Hmm. Those look like traps. Let's go up. Whoa. Whimson approached meekly. What the heck is that thing? <laughs> Let's check it. Attack 5, defense 0. This monster is too sensitive to fight. Aww. Forgive me. It wants me... <laughs> it wants me to forgive it for attacking me. Continues to mutter apologies. Aww. Oh, I'm not gonna terrorize it. Jeez, let's console it. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Aww. Poor thing. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy. Of course! You took a piece of candy. Monster candy. Info. Monster candy heals 10 HP, has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Sure it does. Sure. Another one of you. Let's console it again. really suspicious, but I mean, what can I do other than just walk into it? 
Yeah, I figured. Let's compliment you. Interesting. So yeah, it's got like an active... I mean, it's got a kind of that traditional sort of RPG sort of combat system where you're, you know, you you see the enemy or enemies on your screen and you get to choose whether to use an item or do like an ability or flee. It's got that sort of classic system, but at the same time there's also a sort of active combat system where it's not just stats, but you have to actually avoid things coming at you, and every time you get hit it deals damage. So there's an interesting mix there of kind of old, old style RPG battle and new stuff. Not to mention the fact that you can talk your way out of every fight. Spare it. There we go. Hello? Well, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Hmm. Well, both are pretty good. I'm going to say cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. What is she doing? Hello, this is Toriel. <laughs> you do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? R right, right, uh, I understand. But thank you for being patient, by the way. What the hell is she doing? Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Tell me which ones I could walk on. Maybe I should call her. Let's ask them to talk about themselves. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Oh, there's gotta be more to you than that. Come on. Let's just say hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then. Hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> God, do I flirt? That's kind of weird. No, I'm not going to. Oh. Please don't step on the leaves. <laughs> sure. There's gonna be something in the leaves, right? Maybe not. Oh my god. How am I supposed to find the way? Oh god, go away. Oh, it's just one of you. Console. Okay, making progress. We got around the corner. Oh. Come 
Come on. It can't be a straight line. Oh. It's never a straight line. It's always way too easy. I really want to read that sign. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? <laughs> yes, I did. Also, I don't remember how I got here, so if I fall, I'm kind of screwed getting back. gonna be the next 20 minutes is me grunting. No, I didn't mean to do that. I just fought you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to fight you. Let me console you. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, I know I went up, and then I think I went to the right, like, here. <laughs> Whoa, two at the same time. Do the whims on first. Croak, croak. <gasps> no! To and fro. I don't suppose the leaves show me, like, which way to go. They do show me which way to go, don't they? Yeah, where the leaves aren't shows me where to go. There we go. Puzzle solving. What the? You tripped into a line of mold smalls. What's a mold small? They look like jello. No, don't attack. I didn't mean to fight. Burble burb. <laughs> Am I supposed to hit? No, I'm not supposed to hit. I was supposed to avoid. Let's see, what would they like? Would they like flirting? Or imitation? Let's imitate. You lie immobile with Moltzmol. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Sexy wiggle. <laughs> uh, what is this, Toho? The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. Oh, yeah, so they are gelatin. They are... Easy enough. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, bumpkin. <laughs> you want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, think I got it. <laughs> oh! You! Get back on there! You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Hmm? 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 
Portsmouth. Let's imitate them again. And then, play Toho. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. <laughs> Does it? Why would that fill me with determination? That has nothing to do with me. Oh, there's a little mouse squeak. Cute. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Ew. Uh, is that like a Pac-Man ghost? <laughs> Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Oh, it's literally saying Z. Zzz. Move it with force. Nah, let's talk with it. Oh, we can't talk with it, can we? Nope. I guess we're gonna have to move you then. Here comes... Napstablook? Napstablook. That does not roll off the tongue very well. Nap. Naps tab look, nap stab look. I don't get it. Hmm. <laughs> this music is awesome. Let's flirt with it. I just weigh you down. Oh, it's like crying. Stab look is wishing they weren't here. <laughs> Let's uh, cheer you up. You gave Napstab look a patient smile. <laughs> oh, really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Oh my god, this is so sad. Looks just a little bit better. Okay, so it did it did something. Should I do that again? Let's do it again. You told Napstab look a little joke. <laughs> oh, oh, why are you crying again? It's okay. Cheering seems to have improved Napstab look's mood again. Let's do it one more time. Napstab look wants to show you something. Uh, let me try. Whoa, what's that? I call it. Dapper Blook. Do you like it? What? Why are you crying upside down? Napstab look eagerly awaits your response. Uh, yeah, yes. How do I say, how do I say yes? Do I flirt? Oh no. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. Today, I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. That's so sad. Hmm? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave seven gold in the web. <laughs> sure. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. <laughs> what? Leave 18 gold in the web? Uh, I don't have 18 gold, do I? You didn't have enough gold. No. Thanks for the donut. I'm assuming it heals me? 
Oh, it's not just a donut, it's literally a spider donut. Spider donut, heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. What? What spider cider? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spiders. Ribbit, ribbit. <sighs> my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. <laughs> That's right. Pressing X, like I just did. Oh, not you too. <laughs> I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. Why, yes, yes it can. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. There is only three. I kind of want to press the full screen button, but I'm worried it might break the recording. Also, my mouse is poked out from down here. Look at this. Oh my god, mouse on the screen. Mouse on the screen. Get off. Migosp. Mm. Crawled up close. Ew. The thing looks like a cross between a beetle and a bunny. Oh no, I didn't mean to fight you. Crap. Heed the swarm. What? Let's deal with Migosp. No, actually, let's do Moltsmol. Because I know how to take care of that. Also, I really need to heal. Like, actually, I should have eaten, eaten something. Okay. Being me is the best. What? <laughs> Migosp doesn't have a care in the world. Uh, let's just talk. Hey ya! Migoth doesn't have a care in the world, still. Let's keep talking. Oh. That doesn't seem to do anything. Um... Mercy? Okay. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. I've heard you're quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now that a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. Does it? What do you think of that? Very helpful or it's it's bad? Uh, very helpful? Oh, is this a clever way of like tuning the difficulty? If you say it's bad, does that mean it doesn't display that? Uh, very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it, even if their name isn't yellow. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. There's just one switch. Oh, I forgot to eat. Oh god, I better use an item right now before I die. Uh, let's eat the monster candy. You ate the monster candy. Recover 10 HP. Oh, so Moltsmol, I don't even have to do anything. It's already yellow. Well, in that case, mercy. Already ready to spare. Alright. It just doesn't care. Oh wait, I fleed. Oh, I didn't mean to flee. 
Oh well. Hmm. There's just one lever. That's what it said, right? Or just one switch. Whoa. Luke's. Do we pick on Luke's or don't pick on Luke's? I'm not gonna pick on Luke's. Finally, someone gets it. Luke's is staring right through you. Ooh, how much gold do I have? 15. Oh, so still not enough for the other spiders. Dang. I kind of want to farm more mobs just to be able to actually go back to the spiders. Well, that wasn't the one. Hey, where... Oh. Vegetoid came out of the earth. <laughs> Devour? <gasps> That's rude. Let's just talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. Wait, but you just... Huh? Vegetoid cackles softly. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh, do I want to hit the green? I don't know. Was I supposed to hit the green? I'm not sure. Four gold. <gasps> Does that give me enough? Yes, I've got enough gold to go back to the spiders. Oh, I see. The switch is the one to the right. Well, let's go hit that real fast. Now, oh, this monster seems awfully chill. It doesn't ever try to hurt me. Hey, wait a minute. There's something in the room directly beneath me. It's not the switch, but still. Oh, wait. I didn't even hit the switch, did I? There we go. But what's down here? Oh. Is that the same one? I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh, well. Aww. Ooh, there's another Vegetoid over there. Eh, I don't need it, though. Poor ghost. Okay, let's go back to the spiders. Let's not pick on them. Spiders curled down and gave you a jug. Spider Cider. Spider Donut and Spider Cider. Spider Cider. It was 24 HP made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Mmm, that sounds disgusting. It's a switch. Press it. Nah. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. A puzzle. Hmm. Hmm.
Ah. Just like rotated the room. Okay, so what's my goal? Get those spikes to go down. Vegetoid dinner. Eat your greens and obey the overmind. I wanted the green! Hmm. Ooh, I really need to heal. Oh, I still can't spare? I still can't spare the Migos? M Migosp? <laughs> uh, I think I need to heal. Let's eat the spider donut. Or the spidra don't. Alright, let's talk with you again. Did that do anything? No. Alright, I think we need to get rid of the Vegetoid or something. Maybe the Migosp is unhappy with the Vegetoid being here? It likes being the center of attention, maybe? Maybe that's it. Maybe it likes being the center of attention, so it has to be the only one left. Okay, well, I've talked with it. That didn't work. I tried to d dinner with it, and that didn't seem to work, so let's devour. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. Mm hmm. So how do I weaken it, then? Dinner? Maybe I do need to hit the green. Yeah, there we go. I think that helped. Give him a serious smile. Ah, there we go. Yeah, the Migosp likes to be the center of attention. And then it goes away. Oh. Hmm. So you go through it once. <laughs> Don't hit the green, apparently. Go through it once. You noticed there was a blue switch behind the top pillar. I was just about to search for the blue switch. It's a switch, press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Oh, so every time you change the perspective, one of the switches gets hidden, right? So now I've got to do the green one? Or... no. Well, maybe I do have to do the green one, but I guess they're not always hidden. Oh, dang it. It's never that simple. Alright, so we go through, then we get the blue one. Don't hit the green one, we hit the orange one. Oh, two of these. Dinner. Give me that green. Then we do this one. So many mobs, oh my god, go away.
That's a suspicious bunch of leaves. Hmm. To the right or up? Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Intimidated? Why? Whoa! What am I looking at? I mean, is this like a painting of a mansion, or is this like an actual mansion? I don't know, I'm confused at what I'm looking at. I'm visually confused. You found the toy knife. Huh. Toy knife. Weapon attack 3, made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Uh, come, small one. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Poor thing. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. <laughs> Does it? Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So yeah, my impression so far is that I freaking love this game! It's really good! The only thing I don't like about it is that all the encounters with the enemies is starting to already. Even though it hasn't even really been an hour, it's already starting to become really tedious. There's just too many dang encounters. That's the only thing I don't like. Other than that, it's really good. It's funny, it's unique, like I really don't know what to expect. And I'm just excited to look at any, any new thing, to go around every corner. Because I'm just curious what I'm going to find. It's so cool! Yeah, the co the weird, like, talk things through combat mechanic with and the mixture between the kind of old style choose what you want to do action RPG, well, not action RPG, but like, yeah, that old choose an action or choose an item to use this turn. And then after you do your thing for that turn, the other enemies do their thing for their turn. Like, that kind of classic system mixed with a sort of active combat system where you have to actually, you play as a little heart and you can actually move around and you have to avoid projectiles. Or, in the case of the Vegetoid, you have to actually hit the green projectile. So it really changes it up, and it's pretty cool. It's really unique. So yeah, I love this game so far. I hope you have enjoyed watching it as well, and I'll be back soon.